Hello and welcome to Technical Studies. In today's video, we will learn all the important types of butt weld pipe fittings used in industrial piping. From elbows, tees, reducers, caps, and stub ends to special fittings like olets, returns, and fabricated bends, everything is explained in a simple and practical way. Weld neck flange. A weld neck flange has a long tapered hub and a beveled end for butt welding to the pipe. It gives perfect alignment, smooth stress distribution, and is used in high pressure, high temperature, and critical service lines. 90 degree long radius elbow. This fitting changes the direction of the pipeline by 90 degrees with minimum pressure loss. It is the most commonly used elbow in process piping. 90 degree short radius elbow. This elbow also turns the pipe by 90 degrees but in compact spaces. It creates more pressure drop due to the smaller radius. 45 degree long radius elbow. Used when the pipeline direction needs a smoother, 45 degree change. Flow remains stable. 45 degree short radius elbow. Used in tight areas where a 45 degree turn is required and space is limited. 180 degree return bend, also called a U bend. It reverses the flow direction and is commonly used in heat exchanger loops and coil piping. Equal T. This fitting splits the flow into two equal branches or combines two lines into one. All three outlets are of the same size. Reducing T. Here the branch size is smaller than the run pipe. It reduces pipe size while keeping the center line common. It's used in vertical lines and pump discharge areas. Eccentric reducer. Used at pump suction lines to prevent air pockets from forming. Maintains a straight top level. Concentric reducer. Reduces pipe size while keeping the center line common. It's used in vertical lines and pump discharge areas. Straight pipe spool piece. A simple beveled pipe piece used to connect fittings or increase length in a spool. Pipe cap. Closes the end of a pipe permanently. Used for pipeline ends and hydro test preparation. Stub end. Short pattern. Used with lap joint flanges. Ideal for low pressure lines requiring frequent dismantling. Stub end, long pattern. Used in larger pipelines where better alignment and flange rotation is needed. Cross fitting. Connects for lines at 90 degrees. Rare in process piping but used in firewater and sprinkler systems. Lateral T. Provides a 45 degree branch connection. Helps reduce turbulence compared to a standard T. True Y fitting. A smooth Y shaped fitting used to split flow with minimum turbulence and pressure loss. Mitre bend. A fabricated bend using one or more mitre cuts. It is suitable for large diameter piping but creates higher pressure loss than long radius elbows. Reducer insert. Used inside but weld fittings to reduce internal diameter without installing a full size reducer. Collar or welding neck. Provides reinforcement at branch connections and allows a smooth transition to the header pipe. Weldolet. The most common OLET fitting. It provides a strong branch connection from a larger pipe to a smaller pipe with good stress distribution. Socolet. Similar to a weldolet but with a socket weld end. Used for small diameter branches in low pressure systems. Threadolet. A threaded branch connection. Commonly used for instruments, vents, drains, and pressure gauges. Elbowlet. Creates a branch connection directly on a 90 degree elbow. Lateralet. A 45 degree OLET fitting used where the branch needs to come out at an angle. Nipplet. A combination of a small pipe nipple and an OLET. 
commonly used for instrument takeoffs and sampling points. Sweeperlet A long, smooth, radius outlet fitting used in high pressure and high temperature applications. It provides excellent stress relief. Thank you for watching technical studies. I hope this video helped you understand all the common but weld fittings and their applications. If this explanation was useful, please like the video, comment your doubts, and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more piping, fabrication, welding, and field training videos. See you in the next video with another important topic.